All right. All right. All right. All right. Man, hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm outside of my patio. Don't worry about it, okay? This is my Friday. This is what I usually do on a Friday. So I'll just y'all just give me a minute though. Give me a minute. I gotta do some stuff, make sure. How y'all doing today anyway? How y'all doing y'all Friday? What's going down? How's it going? How is it going? Yeah, it's that time. We got a show. We got a we got a track meet coming up. Hold on. Hey, did y'all see that where David Allen gonna get his money though? Golly. Dang, I ain't winning. Got his money. Hmm, let me do this. I know everybody. Oh, okay. I know everybody waiting. Let me tell these folks. Let me tell these folks how this track meet going to go. Make sure everybody in here. Well, I ain't going to make sure everybody in here because it's like, hey, if you ain't in here, when I get to talk, when I get to tell these folks how to get in here to get their money. If you, oh, hold on, my, my, my mic ain't clipped on because y'all know I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. Cause every time I get to talk about money, Jack, I'm going to get excited. Did that clip it? Because I ain't at the studio. I'm at home. So hold on. Yeah, yeah, you're tripping. That's why I like to do stuff, man. Live. But guess what? Though, the track meet, it won't be like this because I got Andre actually. Now, my shirt don't even look right, man. Now, I don't look good on the show. I know y'all are waiting for me to throw a top body. But I got to get myself together, man. Hold on. So I can see myself in the camera. What's going down, everybody? What's going down? What's going down? All right, y'all got to deal with that for now. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me do this too. Papaya. Mm-hmm. Uh, do do. I look, y'all. I know what y'all saying right now. I can feel it without even reading y'all comments. I know y'all probably saying Ray always late. You know, ever start on time. Well, I like to keep it traditional. I, I tell. I be trying to tell y'all. I'm a real ninja, man. Everything about me is traditional. Hold on, y'all. And then I had to let y'all see all the stuff I be doing when I be setting up. Hold up. Uh, let me see. So if I go right here, I go to my store and I do this. Oh, hold on, y'all. Boom. Go to my go to my channel. My YouTube now. Yeah, I'm gonna answer y'all questions too about this thing too. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm almost ready. And and people who ain't in here, they just gonna not be in here. Y'all know what I'm saying? Uh, wait a minute, y'all. I'm coming. I can't I can't see y'all comments. So I ain't gonna be able to see y'all questions because I know y'all gonna have questions. Yes, the money is real too. That's what's crazy. I know that's why everybody really wanna be at track me, but I ain't mad at y'all. All right. Okay, I'm not here for a show, people. All right. I'm not here for a show at all. It's my Friday. I'm outside. I'm my patio. I'm chilling. But everybody keep asking me. Hold on, let's do a little quick roll call to the, to the people who normally ain't here. Let them talk to y'all about this track meet. Who in this thing? Molly and Candace. What's the damn deal? She is B what man, it's, it's the same. My my fans, my family, my mama and everybody else. PBHT, man. Right there. That's why we really waiting on right there. Yeah, yeah. They here. They here right now. We can all get started, man. The band is here. I right, so check this out. Wait. I got I need to wait on LB. But don't worry about it. So for all y'all people who are tuning in about the track me and hear about the track me. I've been telling y'all forever. I literally been saying it. I've been saying. I literally been saying, hey, I'm having a track me. I've been saying, hey, at the track meet, we're going to be paying money. I've been saying, hey, get ready for what I got coming up. And then all of a sudden, I put the fly up yesterday, and now all of a sudden, the dang on thing done went across the world 20, 29 times different ways. Everybody hit my phone. Wait, I want to in. Wait, I want to be in the track meet. Wait, how did I get in? Wait, you didn't tell me you were paying 27000 Yes, I did. I literally said that. <laughs> I literally said that on the show already. I literally, I literally gave the breakdown. I was like, hey, we got over $420,000 in prize money. I believe folks thought I was playing. That might be what it is. Oh, they might have thought playing like, oh, God dang, they ain't had no track me. Ain't no money. I kept trying to tell y'all, all right? Now, 
Now that we had the point that we had the point of track me this here. Who child? All right, so let me explain this track me to y'all how this thing works. This is just the first one, people. So it's not the only one that, that we plan on putting on. Okay? It's not the first track me. What we are planning on doing, I'm saying we because Belasta Shakes is the sponsors. What we are planning on doing, even after this first track meet, there will be another track meet, okay? And that track meet will be named after an athlete. It might be the first annual, hell, I don't know, uh, Mary, Mary Bell St. Price track meet. You know what I'm saying? After that, it might be the first annual, um, hell, Briscoe track meet. You feel me? What we're doing is we're creating longevity, and actual money for athletes of their name and their likeness. That's why it's called the first annual, because it's going to go on every year after this. So even when you're done, when it's the 23rd annual Fred Curley Invitational, Fred Curley is still getting paid off of his track meet. When it's the 23rd Mary Bell St. Price or the 23rd whoever track meet, they still getting paid on track meet. That's the first thing. All right. Second thing is, because of how these track meets are being set up, I cannot have a lot of races, okay? Because I only got so much that's going into, from the investors that's going into the prize pot, okay? So, in order for the money to actually be worth it, I had to cut out a lot of events, okay? I'll just be honest with y'all. I could have spread the money out across the board, okay? But then if I had to do that, it would have been no different. Well, I mean, no different is like you're still running for peanuts, okay? So when I'm sitting here, and I literally, we've been doing, we've been playing this thing for months. I say the best way to do it is cut it. We're going to cut this thing down to where it's like this track meet is just a sprint, okay? So, meaning we have both the 100 meter dashes. We have the 200 meter dashes, both of course. We have 110 and 100 meter hurdles. We have open 400. We have 400 meter hurdles. And we have long jump and triple jump, okay? We got those seven, all right? Now again, I kinda had to base it off of the old Golden League days, again, because I have to make it to where the money, the, money, the money spreads out amongst all the events, all right? So, with that being said, I had to do premier and non-premier races, meaning the premier races, just going to say it, the premier races are the ones that's making the first place is $27,000, all right? The non-premier first race is still $10,000, which is pretty much... The non premier races are set up like Diamond League. First place is 10 and drop down to four, two, you know what I'm saying? The premier races are set out a little different. If you have not seen the prize breakdown, it's on my Twitter right now. Go to Race Take Twitter, you'll see the, you'll see the prize breakdown. So, now, here's the part that everybody um, has to know about this track meet, okay? I'm going to call out the events again, all right? We have the 100 meter dash. We have the 200 meter dash. We have the 400 meter dash. We have the 400 hurdles. We have the 100 hurdles and we have the 110 hurdles. Super jump, long jump, okay? At this track meet, the premier events are what's listed on my Twitter. Go look at it, okay? Now, here comes the track meet part, all right? In order for us to pay you, we have to separate the track meets, all right? Everything is, I've been explaining to you, okay? So, you're going to run twice, all right? Hear me out. Hear me out, okay? You're going to run twice, semi and a final, maybe, okay? In the 100 for sure. Your time in the semifinals will be a fully automatic time, okay? It'll be fully automatic. 
you can use it for any championship, whatever you at. I have actual USATL Southwest Association officials officiating the meet, doing the timing. You got official gunmen and everything, all right? Now, the races for the money will not count. They are exhibition races, people. You might want to look at it like a street race, all right? <laughs> the races for the money, straight up, all right? Gun go off. You better get there. Whatever, it be, whatever it bent you in, whatever you jumping in, whatever, you better get there. Now, here's how we're doing it, though, okay? In order for you to even be in any of the pay races, you have to go and purchase a license, okay? We're calling it a license, right? Just like with... USATF, every year you got to pay a membership, right? Okay. That membership covers you for a whole year, right? You have to buy a license. So you have to go to velocitystakes.com, which is on my Twitter, and you have to purchase the journeyman license, okay? This license is good for 365 days, all right? I'm going to say it again. Once you purchase your license, you're good for 365 days. Meaning, I'm telling y'all, this is not the only track meet at all, whatsoever. Trust me, it's not. So once you have that license, you're good for every track meet. You can run it every single track meet that we are having going forward. The entire year. You ain't got to pay no more. It's a membership. You in. Every track meet, you in that thing. Don't worry about it. You in there. Now, also... Because it is a regulation track meet, you can enter into multiple events. If you want to enter into the 100, 200, 400, guess what? You can do that. You can. You can do all of them you want to. I'm not a kill. We don't, all right? You got to have that license, though, all right? Now, here is the first thing, though, about this track meet, all right? Let me slap my chair up so y'all understand me. There is only, I already told y'all, a semi and a final, right? Which means we have to make it fair. And what I mean by fair is, yes, you will have your Mary Beth St. Prices there. Yes, you will have your Mike Rogers there. Yes, you will have these type of athletes there competing, okay? These athletes will get a lane Regardless, understand that, all right? They get in the lane, okay? Now, everybody else, it's uh, for the first one, stay with me, for the first one, it's a uh, lottery pick, okay? Let me make sure I explain to y'all, right? Because I'm going to go on another show and explain to y'all and so y'all can get the whole writing and everything, how it's going to work for the money races. Because I had to really figure out how to make it as fair as possible, okay? Everybody, once you purchase a, a journeyman license, I'm having an own, own race take so you, everybody can see it. Ain't no nothing. It's going to be live. I'm having the actuary, actually, wow, actual drawing. So you, you pick, you automatically in that race for the, for, the, for the money, no matter what. Now, out of the semis, top two, get in. You automatically in the race for the for the money. So pretty much, if you go, if you run the semis, top two automatically in the money race. The other six lanes, well, we kind of gonna have a drawing for. Just that simple. It's literally just that simple. It's literally just that simple. It's literally just that simple, which is the which is fair. Now, the reason why I said this is fair, people, is because I'm going to put it out there. I don't want to be like the Diamond League or anywhere else. Meaning, every track meet, the same people are going to get the money. Every single time you watch the Diamond League race, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade at it, I'm just saying. Every time you're going to see the same people. So the same people are going to get money. I don't want to do that. I want it to be fair to where if you run track, 
Oh, no, Jack, shoot. Just because you was in it last week, you might not be in it this week. You got to go one, two in this part. And if you don't go one, two, you got to be a lottery pick when we put all of the names in that hat. Pull it out. Just that simple. It's literally just that simple. So that way, it's, to me, fair across the board. Because if I don't do it that way, every meet I got to let in, guess who? The fastest people, because the fastest people are going to be coming to try and get that $27,000. That's not right. They're like, I told them already. I, they already, I already talked to them like, y'all can come run, but don't think you finna get that money from the people who actually ain't got no contracts. And don't think you finna come to this track meet just because you super fast and win all the money. It don't work that way. All right? It's going to be fair across the board. And, 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 I just want to be fair, y'all. Yeah, know that's all I've been saying the whole time. I just, I just wanted to be fair. I just want everything to be fair across the board for everybody to try and get, you know, make some money. So, there it is. Literally, there it is. Now, keep it in mind and make sure I say this again. Once you purchase your license, you get to run no matter what. You literally get to run the track meet no matter what. You literally get to run no matter what all the track means. And like I say, first round, if you need to qualify for USA's, it's fully automatic, it's wind gauge, it's everything. If you need to qualify for the Jamaican trials, you need to qualify for the Bahamian trials, you need to qualify, whatever you need to qualify for. It's, it's, again, we have USATF officials, we have fully automatic timing, we have wind gauges, your times will count. So don't just be like, oh man, if I ain't in the running race, I ain't going. Well, I mean, it's still a race, stupid. And if you get top two in your race, you automatically in the money race. And if you look at the prize money, if you're in the money race, even last place gets paid. <laughs> and so no matter what, after you don't purchase your license, you don't get your money back. And if you hit it, you don't get your money back times 20, 10, 100. I mean, I've been thinking about trying to train, y'all. But they said I can't do it. They said because I'm on the board. They said because I'm a member. I can't go back to training. Because when they start saying, what, what, what? 27,000, 27, what? Man, what's like that? Y'all, you saying what? We saying what, y'all? Twenty-seven dollars, man. Where my spikes at? Where my spikes at? Wait, wait. You know, for me, it's ten bands, man. Where my spikes at? I ain't got time for this. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. I'm trying to run right now. I'm trying to run right now. But that's pretty much how it works. So that's why I'm late because I was on the phone with Fred. And well, me, Fred, and Velocity Stakes, we was finishing up like one of our last meetings to solidify everything and all that good stuff. So that's why I was late. But um, oh, we're doing the um actual. We're on Saturday. I think it's the twenty eighth of April. We'll be in Miami doing a race take with Fred Curley at his new house to talk about this track meet. So and then you know, go from there or whatever. So, with that being said, um, you have until pretty much, I'd say now and forever, to go purchase your journeyman license. Um, I'm going to say it right now then. That Saturday in Miami is when we will announce the people that are in the race. Um, in the actual races, who got the lanes? We'll announce that, and yeah, we'll do that at Fred's house. We'll do that at Fred's house. We'll do that. We'll announce who's actually in those races, the ones that um, won the lottery that are in it. But again, let me say it again: even if you don't win the lottery to automatically get in the race, still go run because top two get in the race. <laughs> so you let it go. Or if you win the lottery, don't even run the semis. They'll be like, oh, bro, I'm already in, man. I, I want the lottery, Jack. I'm coming just for the money race. You feel what I'm saying? So you let it go. It's fair across the board for any and everybody to get into the money race. Literally. 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 No, I can't be bribed, so don't try. Don't have your agents call me. Time out, so Ray, we'll give you half of the cut. No, nah, Jack. I can't do it legally, first of all. I can't do it legally because so my contract said I can't do nothing like that. I can't even participate in none of it. All right, my contract said that too. So I think that's about it, so. I think that's about it. I'm gonna turn it over now to y'all so we can have this QA so that I can answer whatever questions 
that y'all have about this. Q&A, right now. Let's go. All right. Hmm. Uh, flights and hotels. LB, good question. Flights and hotels will be covered by us if you are a, it's just like every track meet. If you're a top level athlete, we pay for everything when you come in, pretty much. If you're not a top level athlete, and of course we can't pay for it, but once you get here, I'm talking to y'all business people. Damn it, you ran for the money. <laughs> so once you get here, if you in the race, go look at the, the go look at the, the prizes. Go look at the way I put on my Twitter. If you get here and you in a race, man, you better invest that money. <laughs> You're gonna get it right back. Next question. Let me see. <coughs> Mr. Brian K. Miller, who came up with the idea? I cannot take credit for the idea because the idea of paying track athletes has been the idea forever. Velocity stakes figured out a way to where we could actually get money to pay athletes. The idea to pay athletes attract me, that's how they've been around. They just figured out how to make it happen and make sure the money is already in the bank before even pushing out the information. So, yeah. Uh, tickets or license? Now, She's Wayne, good question. This, this show is only about the athletes getting their licenses. I'll come on and tell y'all later about the tickets and about the streams and all that. But right now, I just want to explain to the athletes how to go about getting your license to be able to get into the money races. And if you read online, when you go there, you literally see this ain't the only track meet. That's another story. All right, let me get to some more questions. King Majestic, yes, it will be. Come on, King Majestic is ready to take, baby. Why, why, why? It's ready to take. Why would I not stream it live? You got my voice going over my eye right now, man. Come on, baby. Don't insult me like that. You know, trap house. I show y'all stuff in the trap house. You already know I'm going to stream this thing, baby. Come on, it's booming. You know it's booming. Ask me no question like that. All right. Uh, is there a cap on the amount of license available for purchase each season? You can only purchase one license. Well, that's, a, that's another good question. Another good question. Right now, you can only purchase one license. But I did get a good idea from the board today about the master license. i talk to y'all about that later because that master license will give you more chances to get in that race. But right now, it's just a journeyman license. Good question. Um, okay, hey, Ray, can collegiate athletes compete? Yes, okay? Collegiate athletes can compete in this track meet because, again, it's just regulation. It's a regulation track meet. Um. The collegiate athletes with the NIL deal, there is a specific license that collegiate athletes have to have in order to compete in this. And if, when you go on the website, if you're a collegiate athlete, the journeyman license will cover you as well. But this track meet is the same weekend as most NCs. So for collegiate athletes, if you don't have one, then go ahead. But if not, Hold off until afterwards because we have something special for collegiate athletes who want to be a part of it. But if you need time, then go ahead and, and, and hop in the track meet because it's only like $23. It's a regular track meet. You can still run if you're in college. You just can't get the money yet if you're in college. All right. Xmo said, too bad. I ain't even going to say, boy, stop. <laughs> What? I'm not even trying for two weeks. But anyway, um, uh, oh, the license is $110. The journeyman license is $110. Okay. I'm going to say it again. 
the journeyman license is one hundred and ten dollars. That that one time fee, like they say everywhere else, it's good for the entire year. So again, your one ten license, you you race, you getting that back. Like you getting it back. I'm gonna tell you that now. You getting it back. And I'm gonna come on with all the rules and stipulations to where once you win like that first pot, twenty seven, yada yada yada, you really can't run for like two more track meets. Y'all, I'm spraying the money y'all for real. I'm not playing. You're not gonna come collect twenty seven bands and all ten track meets and think you're gonna leave everybody else boat. Nope, you even to do that. All right, moving right along. Um. Yes, the license is $110. Okay, what was I saying about times not counting? So, we will have semis and finals, okay? In the semis, your time will count for you to use at IAAF wherever. The finals, which is the paid races, if you participate in any paid race, your time cannot count. It's, it's, an, it's an exhibition race, meaning you're not running for Nike, you ain't running for a time, you're just in a race that got a pot at the end of it. That's it. Um... Somebody say, how old is Ray actually? I'm actually I'll be actually 41 on May 7th. Uh, I think I think I went over everything. Hmm. Ryan the Dinkins. Now here's what's funny. The meat was actually supposed to be in Atlanta. The first setting was Atlanta. The track that we had found and we thought that was ready wasn't going to be ready in time for us to do this one by this weekend. Uh, well, well, I'm saying by the weekend we want it. So if you go back and look at all, like my original tweets, my original tweets was saying Atlanta. Like, I, we're supposed to be in Atlanta. So we are coming to Atlanta. These track meets, make sure I say that too. These track meets won't just be in Dallas. We're, we're, we're bouncing. Dallas, right now, what we got on, the three cities we got is Dallas, Atlanta, and um, D.C. So those three cities are the three cities that right now we're bouncing back, you know, between for track meets. Dallas, Atlanta, and D.C. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah. Uh, I think that's about it. I think about it. I think that's about it. I think I done cleared it up. So, before I get off here, because I'm not supposed to be here, people. I said I got to go. I got stuff I got to do. I really got to go work on this damn track me. <laughs> For real. Um, oh, Brandon Green said, bet it's on Ray running. Now, that's what y'all need to be betting on. Bet and see if I'm going to. Come out that thing and hi yeah 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 because somebody betted me I couldn't break the American record uh the American Masters regular 10 7. Stupid. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just stand up so y'all can see my body, so y'all can see the slimness and everything. I'm just I'm just I'm just do that. I think I ain't ready to go out there and run, but I <laughs> anyway, I cannot win any of the money if I do run. Um yeah, we trapping tomorrow um, for Bermuda Games. Uh, let me see. So, so I made this too long. Once again, yes, May 14th, okay? First annual Fred Curley Invitational, all right? Go get a license. I'm going to tell you why you need to go get your license. All right? I'm going to tell you why you need to get your license. You don't need to go get your license because, you know, I just told y'all about the money and stuff like that. You need to go get your license because, who knows? It raised, it raised mine. I may, I may end up 
change it up, you know what I'm saying? I may end up, you know, going back to the investors like, hey, man, this ain't enough. Go and double it up so I can let some more people in here. Look at how these folks don't got all these licenses, man. Look at these folks. I can't, man, I can't let these folks. I damn a lot of it, man. I need to let these folks in. You feel me? Go get your license. That's all I'm going to tell you. Because if you don't have a license, the last thing you want to do is come May 15th. If you ain't got no license, I'm going to help you all out. I'm going to help you all out. If you ain't got no license, come May 15th, the last thing you want to wake up to is if you run any of these events, seeing somebody don't walk away with 27 bands, somebody don't walk away with 27 bands in your event and ran slower than you can. Oh, Lord, I just die. I'm going to tell you like that. I die. Who I die? If I was in my prime, you know, my 10 flat, 999, one, two time prime, and if I'm sitting here like, I might, but then I probably won't. I just, I'm going to see how the first one turned out. And then I come to find out somebody named Rajon Jenkins done ran 1041 and got 27 bands. I'm liable to go drink myself stupid and not run no more. So I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, don't play around with this shit. Don't, well, look, look, y'all, don't play. All right, all right. I'm going to tell you again. <laughs> I'm going to tell you again. Don't play around with it. Don't be out. Don't be one of the ones out there like, man, I'm away and see. And then you tune in and see the 200 with one with like 21 flat because that dude or had his license and he, he hopped in. He won the semi with 21 one because there wasn't nobody there. You know what I'm saying? Or don't be the female and be like, oh, look at five, one, thousand dollars. Hey, man, y'all didn't show up. So shit, because y'all didn't show up. What the hell y'all you had to do this right anyway? And we gotta get the money away. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, we gotta get away. We can't keep it. So I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Coaches, fans, everybody. You know somebody? Better go tell them. Better go tell them. Better go tell them. Because again, the track me gonna go on no matter what. Track me going on. The money going out no matter what. We got about. 10 more track meets, that's going to go on. So your license is good for about $4.5 million in prize money. Don't be no fool. <laughs> that's all I'm going to tell you. Don't be no fool. Don't be no fool. Because again, now, make sure I say it one more time. Your license is good for every track me, but you do not have to have a license to compete. Hold on. Oh, excuse me. You do not have to have a license to. Hold on, y'all hit a tow truck. I'm trying to make sure I ain't pulled right here and get 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 towed. Wow, well, pulled that. Nah, I did. All right, all right. Now that's what I was saying. I hit a tow truck, man. Tow, boy, tow truck, boy. Listen, me anyway. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, you do not have to have a license to actually compete. You can go to athletic.net, look up the first annual Fred Curley Invitational. You can enter into a track meet just like every normal track meet. Okay, make sure I explain that. You can enter into the track meet, but you cannot get into the money races without a license. Got it? We all clear. I'm going to say it one more time. You can get into the track meet, period. Anybody. Well, I mean, I still got to cut off, but you can get into the track meet. You can go and enter into the track meet as a normal athlete. You just cannot be in the money races without a license. Are we clear? Oh, and your license is good for all the track meets, which means you should probably just get a license because if you spend the twenty-five dollars for the first track meet and you can't make no money and you do four track meets, you don't spend a hundred dollars and ain't made jack. That's not smart. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I was you. If you plan on running in it, just get the license and be done with it. That girl, I'm just telling you, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a businessman. Talk to a lot of people, a lot of athletes. I'm just saying, if I was you. 
I, if you even top notch, I hold my head and say, hey, hey, Jack. Uh, I need to get one of them licenses. I need to be in Ray Track Meets because Ray paying twenty seven thousand dollars first place, Jack. Uh, I, I can't do it. Shit, he paying he paying fifteen for second. <laughs> The boy paying 10 for third, man. Hell no, nah, I ain't going no trouble. Make sure I'm in here trying me, please. Go do that, dog. Go do that. Go get, I'm going to say it again. Go get a license. And for the fans, yes, track meets will be streamed. And I will be there commentating. I'm going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. I'm not catching no athlete coming out the track while they and talking the world. No, no, I have a whole set, people. I have a whole camera crew that's out there. I have a whole set, just like ESPN, just like TNT. You, you, you get off the track, you take your tail to the locker room. You get yourself together, okay? Put your drip on, do whatever you want to do, and you can come back to the set. And then at the track meet, we can talk about the races. But no more, like, I'm not doing all this. Come off the track, how you feel, how you think. Hey, now, nah, man, I'm going to give you a cup of red cup of water. And, like, go to the locker room when your interview is whenever you feel like it. So, yes, I will be doing race take live out there. Y'all going to get, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to everybody. Talking to everybody. All right, y'all. That's it. That's it. If you ain't watched this video and you didn't figure out how to get into this track meet, Hey, man, look here. That's on you, Jack. <laughs> at the end of the day, that's on you, Michael. At the end of the day, look here. At the end of the day, I just got to put the track meet on. That's it. I just got to put the track meet on, and I just got to pay people. Outside of that, my job is done. All right? Velocity stakes. Love them. They job done. Your job is to get into this guy that's on track meet. Ah! I'm finna go. Uh... Hold on, let me see what y'all talking about real fast. Ray, you hiring at the track meet. <laughs> hiring for what? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what. I don't, hiring for what? Yes, there is USA Track and Field officials there. Like, I, I look, y'all. Y'all starting to insult me now, okay? Y'all starting to insult me with so many damn questions. Like, I, like, I'm, like come on now. Come on, Jack. We, don't, we ain't got to talk about the phone. I'm not finna have no bootleg officials at the track meet. Now, if my name on it, if Fred's name on it, ain't nothing bootleg finna be about it. You finna get, ain't none of that questionable timing. No, no, no. Jack, you want the photo? Here. <laughs> I want the photo things for you, everything. Come on, man. I got the SMU Speed Performance Lab coming out to get the splits. You all know what those splits was at 24 to 60? I got that. Man, this ain't no regular track meet. This is a regular thing track meet. Y'all better wake up. I know stupid questions like that, man. What? Y'all gonna see a whole when well, one camera. Y'all gonna see a whole different version of track and field at this whole series of track meets. And I got a red cup action at the track meet. Whatever. That's right. Party and all at the end of it. Everybody have a good time. Everybody get a red cup at the end of track meet. Talk about how good track meet was. Talk about how much fun you had, how you watched it, and everything. It's going down, people. It's going down a major way. Got celebrities coming through and everything. Can't tell you what is, who the celebrities is outside of track and field. Got celebrities coming through and everything. I got a lot. I got some surprises. I'm going to be dropping out for the rest of, you know, these little six weeks. Be like, ha-ha. They're going to be there. Ha-ha. We're going to be doing this there. Ha-ha. They, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Your boy, your boy back here. Your boy going to do this thing for you now. Your boy going to work it now. Okay. It's not May 7th. It's May 14th, by the way. Okay, now, check the flyer, because the flyer says May 14th. I know we originally said May 7th. Here's why I changed it to May 14th, okay? I changed it to May 14th because the school that we we're having to track me that, uh, shout out to Prince of Peace, no matter what, they have their state championship that weekend. And so the coach said... Um, that weekend is fine, but we won't be there because we got state. The one thing that I did not want to do is have a track meet at a school to where the actual track team could not be there. So I moved it to the 14th. Literally, I'm like, no, 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 we're not going to do that. It's the 14th now because I want to make sure that the athletes that are at that school 
they have a chance, and, and they actually will be the volunteers. I want to make sure they have a chance to be out there. I want to make sure they have a chance to, you know, meet some of the athletes. I want to make sure that it's, it's another version of giving back to the community and giving back to that school. So I changed it from May 7th to May 14th so that I can make sure we can include the track team from Prince of Peace Catholic Church School in Dallas, Texas. That's why it's May 14th and not May 7th anymore. I don't have Beyonce singing it. I do got somebody singing it. You know, she on iTunes and stuff like that, you know, so y'all can check her music out, but I don't have Beyonce type money, and Velocity Stakes ain't got it either. But with y'all help... <laughs> With y'all help, as we grow this thing over the next years, we should be able to get us some serious halftime performing entertainers like Beyonce. But right now, we can't get Beyonce. We might can get like like Beyonce third cousin, best friend, friend who knew somebody that lived in Dallas to come sing. But that's about as close as we gonna get, Jack. We ain't that's about as close as we gonna get. We ain't, you know, we gonna get that way. We ain't, we ain't gonna get that. We gonna get that. Oh, somebody just said something that I like that. The ashy kneecap trophy. I don't think I'm going to do that. But you know what I'm going to do? The ashy kneecap award. I'm going to award the ashy kneecap award to whoever I see got the best knee ass. And that person getting the $500. I just said right now, I'm take. I just created it. No matter what, whoever I say, Got the best new ass out that thing. You're getting $500. That's what it is now. That's coming, that's coming out of my pocket, Jack. Not even velocity. That's coming out of my pocket. Best new ass, getting $500. And you get a shirt that say, I got new ass. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, that's working right there, baby. I like that. Hell yeah. $500 for my camera. $500 for the best new ass out there. So if you win the, 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 the race race, so if you win like 27 5, you put five on top of it, and you walking out with $2,800,000 and a new ass t shirt. Lord, why, am I, why am I not running? <laughs> Yo, I'm saying, I'm living to myself. Like, why were y'all doing this when I was running? Baby, I'm damn the track and field. I'm on the Lossy Space. I don't give a damn. I'm going to give me five people in there. Man, what? Oh, Lord. That's why I'm a part of it because I understand, like, what? Boy, what? Where is y'all at when I was, my one did nothing, but what? Man, 27, what? Bro, I'm training all year to win three of y'all track meets. <laughs> That's it. My whole season is me training to only do one state meets. I just need to win three of them, Jack, and I'm setting the five strong. I win three Milwaukee State track meets. I got more money than 90% of track and field. Oh, man. Get my license today. <laughs> what is going on? Wow. Hey, I told y'all we changed things up. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. $27,000. What? Whew, man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. We do have a halftime show. We do have a halftime show, people. It's not really halftime. It's just like we got our break between the morning session and then all of the uh, all of the money races. So for that one hour, I got to give y'all entertainment. Mm, mm, mm. Entertainment, entertainment. Mm. It might be me doing this right here all for a whole hour, just doing this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How y'all like that? We keeping money out. Ooh, I feel like Oprah, but I ain't got Oprah money. I probably should call Oprah see if she can help out though. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. So, um, y'all will be getting details on this from today. Until the actual track meet. Uh, yeah, literally. I'm going to try and come on as much as possible to keep y'all informed on everything that's going on and getting close to it. 
again, as of right now, go get your license. Um, yeah, we're going to have that lottery in Miami at Fred's house where him being a witness. So then we'll do all the lane draws and everything. Um, but again, lottery don't mean nothing. Lottery just means you're automatically in. You still can go to the track meet, get top two, and roll over to the money meet. Okay? But even with that, if you get top two and you don't have a license, you can't go to the money meet, which is an hour later. But yeah, again, if you plan on running in the let me read this shit out to y'all again. Hold on, because I don't think y'all, before I get off here, let me, before we get off here, let me run out this prize money to y'all again, all right? Okay, and this first one, the premier events are the 100 men and women, 200 men and women, 400 men and women, 110 hurdles men, 100 hurdles women are the premier events. Here is the breakdown for the premier events. First place is 27,500. Second place is 10,000. Third place is 5,000. Fourth place is 2,500. Fifth place is 2,000. Sixth is 1,500. Seventh, 1,000. Eighth, 500. The non premier. First place is 12,000. Second place is 4,000. Third place is 2,000. Fourth place is 1,000. Fifth place is 600. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, fifth is 600. Sixth is 400. Seventh, 200. Eighth place, 200. Now, I know what you're thinking. The non-premier, race seven and eighth ain't no money. It ain't. It's not. It's non-premier. But that don't mean your race is going to be non-premier every track meet. And the other thing I wanted to make sure of is, if you get in a money race, you automatically get your money back from your license. I told Velocity Stakes that I was like, no matter what, that last place got to we can't do zero. So basically, you got a license, you get in, your money back from your license already. You got a license, you get in, you brother and jack, but your rent paid all you. <laughs> I need to get that $20,000, right? What God, I need to do. Look here, I'll tell you like this here, I'll tell you like this here. Man, whoever went that 27 back, well, every race, I've been like, what is good about? Put 27 bands in your pocket. Don't talk about 27 bands in your pocket. I'm, I'm crunking my dad. I'm crunking at the back door. What? These people been show up. They been a run. And the winner of the premier walk away. The winner of the of the walk away. Get in. Get in. I'm feeling like I'm feeling crying. Like, come on, y'all. That's what I'm talking about, man. Y'all just come get the money. Y'all just come get the money. You run for free. I'm talking to athletes right now. You run for free. You you. you Michael Jones has got to try me in Baylor in three weeks. You can run for free. For free. It's a track me Saturday at Benton. You can run for free. For free. And you pay to register. You're chasing the time. I'm just saying. It's track me coming up that you can run in for free. Arizona State got to try me coming up. You run in for free. You pay your own license. You run this one, Jack. It ain't for free. You better get free. I'm gonna get off this bike because I get I get crunk every time I think about it. Like, man, you better get that money. Boy, y'all just playing. Y'all better get it. Y'all better get, I can't get this money. That's all I got to say. Y'all got to get this money. Ooh, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Man, y'all better get this money. I right, y'all. I'm trying. I'm, I'm looking at y'all comments on my phone. Uh. 
All right, y'all. So, Bermuda, we'll talk about that tomorrow. But this show went for that. This show is literally to tell y'all about. Hey, go get your what the camera. Go get your damn license if you are an athlete. Because the money is going to be given away. And if you are not into race, do not text my phone. Do not send me no emails. Do not get on my DM and say, Ray, I did not get any of the money. Why didn't you tell me? I'm going to say in my funny Nigerian accent, I told you about the money and you didn't show up. You didn't get your license. So therefore, don't talk to me about this guy who got $27,000 for running 10 4. Do not talk to me about this girl who got $27,000 for running 59. I do not want to hear it. I gave you a chance and you did not take the chance. That is your fault. I really got to start drinking this shit. All right, y'all. All seriousness. Stay tuned on everything I'm doing for the next 45, 60 days because all of it is about the Fred Curly invitation. Hey, it's because of y'all that we're even able to do this. Literally, literally, it's because of y'all and because of Ray's take that these people even considered it, even thought about it because they felt like this was an avenue that they could actually use to push what they want to do. So literally, it is literally all because of y'all. Which I would say the fans, but based off that last show that we had, anyway. But yeah, all for y'all, the fans. So we appreciate y'all because literally, if it was not for y'all, this would not be happening. They are literally doing this based off of Ray's take and the fact of the 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 I, I'd say the positive impact that we had had um, on track and field and what we're doing and the changes that we're bringing to track and field. So I strongly, strongly, strongly do admire you guys and i appreciate y'all because again without y'all this would not be happening ray's take is about seven days away from being on youtube for a year and we are 58 people short of 5,000 followers or 5,000 viewers whatever you want to call it but that is amazing to hit some people don't even hit that ever on youtube and you guys took that thing and made it almost we really are like 58 short of 5,000 subscribers in a year. So kudos to y'all. Yes, fans matter, but the right fans matter, not the wrong ones. Love y'all. We'll talk soon. Give me the license.